The city of Austin prides itself on a reputation for innovation, sustainability, and public service. A unique partnership captures these values as university students design green stormwater infrastructure, like rain gardens, for Austin ISD campuses. Probably you're going to want to steer clear of anything like agaves or anything pokey or poisonous. What we're doing in Austin is trying to shift the way we look at water, so water is treated as a resource instead of a waste product. For years, water was just something we tried to move away from buildings, but now engineers are looking at how we get it to soak into the ground, and uh, that has so many benefits for the water quality, but it can also just help these gardens grow. And so by having rain gardens on campuses, we get to teach the elementary school students about water conservation, water quality. Schools, they aren't just educating the youth. There are also teachers that are there every day, PTA members, and folks from the neighborhood who are there to visit the playground. But with the process, we bring UT students onto campus. They work with the campus to design rain gardens, and then the groups present their ideas to the campus and get stakeholder feedback about it. And they incorporate that into a final report. And at that point, Watershed Protection Department's engineers review it, and it's up to the campus to install it. That's the fun part of the project, is when we get to come back out and get some shovels in the ground. Coming through. And kids and parents come together to put a, a rain garden that'll be there for years and years to come. The first step that we take is we go on a tour of the campus. And with that, the UT students are looking for where water is running off. And that could be just a downspout that is disconnected. And right now is washing over the sidewalk and just running down into a storm drain and being flushed into the creek. And so they go and they find all of these opportunities. And they also have the chance to talk with AISD to find out if the areas that they're interested in putting a rain garden in are truly appropriate. So we want to pick a site that not only is it good from the water treatment side of it, but that it really fits the campus's needs. Lexi is one of the University of Texas civil engineering students who got hands-on experience designing a rain garden. There is a lot of erosion problems, so there's probably three main spots that we saw right now that we'll be thinking about. They have a huge downspout. It's a it's a tunnel tube thing that's maybe a foot and a half in diameter, and they have a lot of erosion right around there. It leads right out um, a little past the back of the playground, and there's a nice area where there isn't a lot of trees, so we would be able to do a, a large garden. And we also saw one um, kind of in between some portables where there isn't a lot of people who walk through it, so maybe it could be like a new area of the school that we introduce and get some learning there. Plus, uh, it's uh, less likely that people would come damage, damage it during the day. And then the last is kind of where the school pickup is. Um, there's a nice hill and it looks like there's a lot of erosion, so maybe we could have something where people have a nice garden to wait and sit out. Once the university students design their rain gardens, they present their ideas to the AISD students and to PTA members, teachers, and other stakeholders. I talked to kids who said they want to be engineers, and so for, you know, nine and ten year olds to tell me that they want to be an engineer is really cool. And uh, it sounds like the staff is really, really supportive and uh, the city seems to also be really supportive. I'm so excited that we have a grant, so we have a, a larger budget to work with, and we can do something really amazing here. Professor Bob Gilbert teaches this UT class. Okay, watch out, guys. And also likes the hands-on aspect of putting the gardens in the ground. This is actually the first one that we did the design for, and we're now building. But the, the idea we have is that this will be the first of many. So next semester, we'll build another one, and the next semester, another one. And so we're hopefully every year, we'll be building two or more rain gardens and working on future rain gardens at the same time and still working. I mean, the, the cool thing about this is it's, it's the Austin, the city of Austin partnering with the university and we're all just doing something good for the community. Keep going guys, we need some more. They're learning about plants and about nature and about our planet and that water is important and keeping water clean is important and, and not just having the water run off. Um, out into the creek is a good idea. And, and they're learning mostly, I hope, because they're working with all the, the engineering students who are at the university. So you've got sixth graders and then you've got people in college. And I think they're just seeing by example that, wow, this is something I might do. 
Olivia, a sixth grader at Bryker Woods Elementary School, woke up early on her Saturday morning to lend a hand to the University of Texas civil engineering students tasked with construction of the garden. I was in charge of the sixth grade students that were willing to help, and so I got them all organized, and there's a few volunteers here. I think it's really cool. Um, this morning it was all bare and dusty, and now it's like a whole garden. I think that's really cool. I mean, like, when I get to school on Monday, everybody will be like, wow, and I'll be like, yeah, I, I helped with that. Building a rain garden isn't very complicated, but it can be a lot of work. Just ask Christy, one of the volunteers. It actually went pretty well. The majority of the day was spent digging up this old kind of cruddy dirt with a bunch of rocks and stuff, so that was exciting for the kids. They got to excavate a little bit, but um, now things are actually moving along now that they, we can actually get out there and plant plants and kind of put mulch on everything, so we're wrapping up here pretty soon. We're planting plants that are, are specifically for a rain garden in Austin, Texas, so they can last through droughts and they can last when it's really wet too. The partnership resulted in a beautiful rain garden with environmental benefits, but also a way for people to give back. Well, I think it's really important. A lot of the people out here are actually parents or they're coming from work. So you can make a difference no matter where you are in your community. If you're involved in your child's school or your workplace, you can do something like this very easily. So we have a map that shows examples of where these are around town, but we hope that they'll eventually appear on even more school campuses. And those will empower people to take it, the, the concept back to their own house and to put them there. So we'd like to see thousands and thousands of these throughout Austin. So how does sixth grader Olivia think people can improve the environment? Build more rain gardens. To find out more, visit austintexas.gov forward slash watershed.